Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we will be discussing the problem mobile numeric keypad. So basically this is the problem of number of paths in a matrix. The very first thing. Only difference is that there you are told to find the number of paths from the top left to bottom right. Here you are told to find out that you can start from anywhere and you can find like you can like the number of steps you take is is how much you move for this is just a small variation and i highly think that yes the need of the mobile numeric keypad they are discussing there should be a visualization of this give me a quick plus one in the comment to just justify this statement. So let us discuss the numeric pad they, the question is discussing enough. So here, this is the numeric pad that is being discussed and these are the numbers that they expect you to have in this order. Now the question tells us that given a standard numeric keypad on a mobile phone, you can only press the current button or the buttons that are directly up. So if let's say I am on five, so I can press myself, I can press six, I can press two, I can press four or I can press eight. I can press these all buttons. This is the first thing. Diagonal movement is not allowed. That is we are only allowed to move in just four direction up left right and down and the very next thing is these two are also not allowed these two are also not allowed satarth this seems confusing not at all so see this is zero zero this is zero one this is zero two just visualize it in the form of matrix this is one zero this is one one this is one two this is two zero two one two two 303132 so now from the point of from the point of 5 okay from the point of 5 if i go up then this is basically if let's say x is equal to let's say let's make this as i and j let's say if i is equals to 1 and j is equals to 1 and we move up then this is nothing but i minus 1 comma j if we move up then it is nothing but i minus 1 and the j would remain intact if we move on the right hand side only this variable is increasing so if we move on the right hand side i comma j plus 1 if we move on the left hand side okay only y minus 1 is being there left is equals to i comma j minus 1 and then we have it as bottom if we go towards the bottom i plus 1 comma j if we move, are moving on the fourth direction so from the point of i and j i can click myself that is i can i can go either here only or either i i can go i minus 1 i comma j minus 1 or i comma j plus 1 and these all very first observation then if we are reaching here and here then this is not allowed so we would simply write an if condition that if by any means we reach here then that is not allowed now see now one more thing that we need to respect this boundary from here i can't go here i can't go here and then we need to respect this boundary too. From here, I can go here and then I can go here. But I can't go take right from 9 because there is nothing present. So I need to stop him also. So I would create a boundary kind of thing. How would I create a boundary? I can never be less than 0. So I can simply say that for the value of i, if it is less than 0, then it is not valid. And see i can never be greater than three 
सो आई कांट नेवर बी ग्रेटर देन थ्री सो वी फाउंड अ बाउंड्री कंडीशन फॉर आई सी इफ इट इज जीरो 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 वर्किंग वन 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 वर्किंग टू ऑल्सो वर्किंग थ्री ऑल्सो वर्किंग वेन वी हिट फोर दैट वॉन्ट वर्क सो दैट इज वाई वेन एवर इट इज ग्रेटर देन थ्री और लेस देन जीरो दैट इज इफ वी वॉक अप दैन दैट इज नॉट पॉसिबल सो वी फाउंड अ इनवैलिड कंडीशन फॉर आई लेट्स डू द सेम फॉर जे सो जे इज इक्वल टू लेस देन जीरो अगेन द कॉर्डिनेट्स कैन नेवर बी नेगेटिव एंड इट कैन नेवर बी ग्रेटर देन टू सो वेन एवर वी हिट दिस कंडीशन इन दैट इज वी गो आउट ऑफ द बाउंड्री और वेन एवर वी हैव स्टार और एन हैश देन वी वुड कॉल इट एन इन वैलिड पाथ एल्स वी वुड एक्सप्लोर ऑल पॉसिबल वेज दैट इज वी वुड स्टार्ट फ्रॉम हेयर एंड लेट से देंथ इज थ्री वी वुड स्टार्ट फ्रॉम हेयर सब ट्रैक्ट फ्रॉम वन फ्रॉम हेयर द लेंथ देन वी गो हेयर देन वी सब ट्रैक्ट वन फ्रॉम द लेंथ देन वी गो हेयर एंड सब ट्रैक्ट वन फ्रॉम द लेंथ वेन एवर वी हिट जीरो वी वुड रिटर्न दिस पाथ दैट इज दिस पाथ इज थी सो वी वुड सिंपली कीप अ पाथ लेंथ वेरिएबल Like let's say the length of the path needed is three. So every time we hit something, we would decrement its path, decrement its value. Whenever we hit the value zero, we would say that yes, this is the path. We return one from it. Now, let us see the solution. See, we are just inculcating whatever was told. So if i is less than zero, we won't do anything. If it is greater than three, greater than three, greater than equal to three, we won't do anything. so these are all the invalid condition we are returning zero then for asterisk and hash also we are returning zero you can just combine these two if statement i'm just doing it now whenever the path let's say the path length required is 3 so we first word 3 then 2 and then 1 so we have a path length of 3 so whenever we hit 1 we just add 1 to the answer basically and then what we would do is i can either stay here or i can move in all the four direction in which all four direction i can move now if i just paste this up see if i just paste this up you would see a resemblance in this what is that resemblance i minus 1 comma j see here you would find i minus 1 comma j then i comma j plus 1 i comma j plus 1 is here i comma j minus 1 i comma j minus 1 i plus 1 comma j i plus 1 comma j and then i can also visit myself which is this i can also visit myself only so this is it okay fair enough then this is the number pad that is there this is basically the same matrix that i have drawn here this is the matrix that i am inputting and then i am inculcating a count so see from this keypad i can start my journey from here 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 and here so i can start my journey from anywhere so to implement this because we are doing the same thing again and again but we are not we can't start our journey from here and now because this is prohibited so what i do it is i started my journey from every key provided that that key is not hash or star if any key is there that is being encountered we are adding it so we have the starting point from all the keys and then we are calling this function and at the end we are just returning the result this is the solution so now let us try to submit this solution and see if we can get an ac or not and yes we got ac that's it for today thank you and have a nice day